Views Media Group. I'm gonna let him introduce himself for the camera. Who we got here? It's your boy Tim Floyd, man, representing TAC. San Antonio, TAC, 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 TAC. Texas as a whole, the east side. You know what I'm saying? Bringing the city together, trying to make shit pop. The most talented artist in, in the city of San Antonio. Swear to God, this bitch hurt. Right off the bag, I got your bag, girl, I'm fucking with you She say don't you fuck with her, girl, fuck that I'm fucking with you When you ain't right here in my world, I don't know what to do Like, is you trying to be my girl? I swear she got me confused When she don't get dick when she won't, she get to acting so rude I roll it up, she take a puff and put her right in the mood Fuck only fans, I'm your only fan, I shake some And I know you feel what I'm feeling, what shawty say some When I first got introduced to you, 2017, uh, TAC with uh, ABM Benji. Um, what happened <coughs> to y'all working together doing music? Um, shit, as far as working together and doing music, it's just a, a main means of like be busy and shit. We live two whole separate different lives, especially now, you know, over the years. Um, once once we stop moving like as like a real label, you know what I'm saying? Everything slowed down. That's when like life started separating and people started, you know, going their own ways and he got some shit going on, I got some new shit going on, but so I love that's family at the end of the day. That's a bet. That's a bet. Now, why hasn't your, your music career took off the way it should? Because you, you like I, you, like I said, you probably like the most talented artist in the city. Like you have the total packet. So I mean, what's going on with you? Uh, why they blew up is just I guess like, the right people ain't seen it. On top of that, I ain't never had like an investor. I never, I never even had a manager like a real deal. You know what I'm saying? I had people like ask me but they be like regular ass promoters and you know what i'm saying so we just ain't got the promotion the 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 funds behind it to just get out there like we need to you know what i'm saying get in front of the right people but you know so in 2022 this is a whole different year we're moving way different now does your you do you think your lack of social media promoting probably pays a part in how come some people probably won't you know what i'm saying seeing what you got going on oh yeah 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 hell yeah like I need to, I tell myself all the time, I need to post more and, you know what I'm saying, do more, be more on social media, but that shit just, I don't know, it just ain't in me like that. So when I do it, it's like forcing, I got to force myself, I got to remind myself. That's, and sometimes that's all it takes, really, is that consistency. Once you keep it in people's faces, they're going to start uh, paying attention. You feel like, have you feel like you built your own fan base? Yeah, yeah. The shit show. Yeah, yeah. Especially, like, the people I come in contact with, like. Face to face, I'm really? definitely, they end up fucking with me in the long run. Um, <clears throat> when I just check the stats and shit on Spotify, Apple Music, I got a big fan base in like Canada and like overseas and shit. So if somebody don't fuck with me, like from my own city, it's, they don't bother me. And that's usually how it goes. Your own city don't fuck with you until they see you start. Facts. You know, that's everywhere. You know, you know what I mean. Um, is it difficult for you being in an era where it's popularity versus talent because we got a lot of guys in the city who get the views but they don't necessarily they don't necessarily make the best music i mean that's just that i mean that's being honest and you got an artist like you you could uh, when i hear your stuff you get your mainstream ready like if if i was a if i was a ceo of a label most likely I was telling you because you, you got everything. So, I mean, does, do you get like, you get let down sometimes when you see that? No, nah, I don't really get let down. I'm so used to like, this attention being on the, the popular shit or like what's trending or like what's what's more entertaining. Nigga could be Kodas rapper in San Antonio and then another nigga it just is. start rapping. No, I'm saying it. Just a random, you know what I'm saying? Then you got another nigga that just start rapping and he fuck around and make goofy ass videos all day. That nigga might pop way before the, you know what I'm saying? Just because he's entertaining. He's more entertaining to look at, watch and shit. But I ain't never been one to just be like, oh, this was trending. Let me make a song like that. Oh, this is TikTok shit. Let me try to do TikTok shit, which is probably will be best, but it's just that not in me. That's not me. Bro. If he did do it, though, I just gonna continue to make the same music I've been making, improving and getting better, and just put it in front of different people's faces. Like, we gotta get about the city. You, you, and, and that's a good transition. Uh, do you feel like you need to move out of San Antonio to to pop off? I don't feel like you need to move out of San Antonio, but you definitely need to like get get up out of here as far as doing shows and, and meeting with people and just networking. Period. Whether you go out 
to another city and just go watch local artists perform. Just pop out and introduce yourself to them like that. You ain't got to do a show just to pop out to the next city. You know what I'm saying? Have you have you been networking in other cities? Just expanding Not recently, your brand? But we, we're preparing to do that this year. You know what I'm saying? Um, we've been networking in the city, though. Like, for real, for real. At the end of last year, we started networking like a motherfucker. Shout out Artists Legit, Artists Musicians Hub, and like, just blogs like that. Views from the town, you know what I'm saying? Niggas, they really on their shit. I like what uh, Artists Legit and Artists Musician Hub, they got... Yeah, yeah, got going. They got going over there. You, are you do business with them, or you just kind of just collaborate with them? Yeah, just for right now, just collaborations. When we met, they wanted to do business, and then we just wasn't, you know, what I'm saying, looking at it like that. But um, seeing like where they going with that shit, they on the right path, and I, I'm gonna continue to fuck with them. You know, what I'm saying anything positive for the city, especially when it comes to music. I mean, I'm in for that shit. You know, I want to be a part of it. I want to help out. I want to grow with y'all. Mm -hmm. Real. How how do you feel about the music scene here in, in the city overall? Like I, I've seen the the changes and in, in the progress and stuff. Like it's definitely from the last you know what I'm saying even four years. Four years yeah. for sure, four strong years. Cause like soon as soon as I made TAC, which was about four years ago, maybe roughly, and we didn't really have too many. You know what I'm saying? Like seriously came out of the public with it. Like you know what I'm saying? It was barely any artists out here, local. Yeah. Local. And the ones that was, they was doing their thing and they was known about and they had already been in the shit. But um, for the past four years, you know, as social media and everything evolves, now it's like over 200, 300, probably, you know what I'm saying? Probably more rappers in San Antonio that niggas don't know about, some, some they do know about, but it's just, that's how shit goes at times. What do you, what do you like more, the, the rapping or the singing? <laughs> I like more rapping, cause a lot of people when they hear my music, especially like, just like last night I met a new producer and he like, bro, all that smart B shit I wanna see, bro, it's gonna go hard. I'm like, say, don't sleep, send me that trap shit too. <laughs> I will run that hell. Oh god, hey, this nigga. Man, I wanna get into another thing. Uh, you remix. 2018, you remix one of the the, the top uh, R&B songs in the country. Tripping on you, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which, like, I, I, and I'll get into it. But man, uh, what made you just even do that remix? I don't know, bro. What, what made me do that? My brother was with me. What, what? We was going to Saints that day. Wait, what's on some you? random shit? Drip. drip. <laughs> oh no, we was. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, we. Somebody sent me Jaquees. Yeah, Jaquees did it like the night say. before. He dropped it. And we was talking about how she was uh, she was on his ass after he dropped it too. She took that shit down quick. Yeah, cool. But he was running at her, I ain't gonna lie. He was just like, I could do that whole order. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> and he was just like, I'm gonna do that whole And then that nigga spaz on that bitch. Yes. I ain't gonna lie, this nigga was like, we all the way to the studio. He was like, you sure that's what you wanna do today? Yeah. I showed him the beat, like, what you doing today? I showed him the beat. Are you sure that's what you want to do? <laughs> oh, God. Hey, man, just wait. We're going to see. What, what, what was the response like overall when people heard that? Pressure. Pressure. I ain't going to lie. Every time been around somebody and they heard that song or we don't even bring up about no music, they'd just be like, oh, your song drips. Yeah, that's how that was. Your song that was, my, that was the song that had the most streams out of any song I made, uh, dropped, released. Till Mary Spliffman's, the one we just dropped on Christmas. Going up. Yeah, when when I heard that, I was like, sheesh! Like I, I like I was, and that that made and that that turned me into a fan when I seen you do that. Cause yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. like you did it better than Jacquees. I'm just just, just <laughs> for the rep. Like people argue, like I get that. Nah, but you, I I think you did it as good as her. Like when I compare, I compare both of the tracks and I'm listening to them. I'm like, damn, he, he can go to toe. And not too many artists can can even do that to mm -hmm. to, to go, especially with an artist like that yeah. and that song. Captain Hook, ah, the, the, the project that probably Legendary. I would say underrated shit. for sure. I remember, I remember even writing about that project, man. Just oh, yeah. like Thanks. this, this let's talk about just that project, get the creation of it and everything. Like, how do you feel about that project? Captain Hook. Oh shit, the Captain Hook. It just turned into <clears throat> me having so much music. I'm going to Saints looking for like which song I want to work on. He pulled it up and it's like. 100 plus songs. Oh, good. And I'm like, fuck. 
I might well just group some of them up, you know what I'm saying? Whichever <laughs> one is going each other and put it together. Plus everybody was just calling me like the hook king back then, so yeah, that was an impressive. Uh, that was an impressive project from yeah. top to bottom. Like the whole thing, that jam. Uh, when I when I heard it, I was like, "Damn, this nigga got something right here." <laughs> like that, and, and that made me a fan. Like when I heard it, I was like, "I got, I gotta, I gotta write an article on it because this project yeah. is from like from top." And that's when I knew that you was kind of in your own little lane. Like me and my uh, shout out to my my dog Floss from Versace. Boys, we always talk about artists in the city and <coughs> you're one of the ones that he brings up like man like he need to get signed like if i start a label you know what i'm saying yeah, uh what's on sign floor he actually wanted to told me to do an interview with you too like, so shout out to shout out to now if there's one artist in the industry that you think you could go toe to toe with on any track who who would it be? Everybody, it's a lot. No, I, I ain't gonna try to be cocky, but I'm just saying it's a lot. Ain't, if you, if ain't you could, just one that I'm looking for. If you could pick though, if anybody, you'd be like, you know what? I'll probably wait in the industry. What like mainstream? Nah, not local. Mainstream, just is like, mainstream. Yeah, mainstream. What you mean like we hop on the track together? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want. I always wanted to hop on the track with, with this man because I feel like he's like the most talented in the city. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't even like on like go to toe to toe, bro. I just want. I just something I just wanted to do. And that's young shooter. I was, I had a feeling. Why haven't y'all? Why haven't y'all? And why haven't y'all done no anything? Idea. Well, we got so many times together. I have no idea. Cause y'all, I could picture that too. Matter of fact, I think I mentioned that too. That y'all needed. To, I mentioned that to somebody that y'all need to do a project together. Yeah, that nigga's the go, bro. He slept on like man, like hugely in the But I've been seeing you got some songs that are Billboard charting material, Bermuda Triangle. Uh, another shorts, one Bermuda Shorts Bermuda Shorts my bad I'm yeah, drinking Bermuda but yeah mm -hmm. Bermuda, Bermuda Shorts but that one I got one, the idea from though yeah. yeah but that one right there you I was like lost in that bitch for sure oh my soul <laughs> oh, like is it do you what are the females saying about that record first off what what are they saying about that record man what they fucking with it yeah I mean shit it ain't been one female I'll show it to you that way fucking with it most of them be like that's you or like. <laughs> <laughs> that shit, that's the shit. That shit, bro. They they gonna tell you, bro. That that ain't. Hey, you know I'm fucking with that. Yeah, yeah, nah, that. That's a pipe. You said that shit. That shit different. That shit different. I'm in the I'm in the studio recording the artist and musician last night. I'm just in the booth area by myself. They invited us over, got drinks and everything. They wanted me to hop on a song. It's like ten plus people in the main part, smoking, get drunk. I'm in the booth by myself, chilling, drunk. All I hear is Bermuda Shorts come on. I hear all kind of commotion in the room. I'm like, oh shit. Let me start recording. You know, I record everything. Start recording. I'm like, yeah, what up in that bitch? They was in there singing my shit. This nigga going oh, crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah now nah, that, that song right there, like, that's what I said. You got you got Billboard chart and material radio that needs to be to be heard. Needs to be pushed. That needs to be pushed. So, I mean, sure, sure. shit, whatever we got to do. <laughs> we, this we, might be it right here. We, somebody just need to see that. We definitely need to get my get behind it. Um, you watch versus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, and then this is just a trending topic. So Jay Z, there's it, it, everybody talking about Jay. Which Jay Z ain't doing no versus? But <laughs> no, who, who who would you pick out of Eminem, Kanye, Wayne, Drake? You know, to to go against Jay Z. <laughs> yeah, I would pick Wayne off top just because I would want to see Wayne perform on Versus. Not because I feel like he's the only one that could go against. Because honestly, it's a lot of motherfuckers that go against Jay-Z. Not no shade against Jay-Z. He the GOAT and everything. It's just, nigga, I don't, you ain't never heard nobody just be like throwing that Jay-Z track up. <laughs> I ain't never even heard him in the club. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just, I, I hear a lot of people say that performance, and he's not fucking with the, the the new generation crowd that he's gonna have. You gotta realize that all his crowd is not gonna be really, people his age. I really don't even think Jay Z fuck with our crowd like that. Nah, he, <laughs> nah, well, nah, nah, it depends. I mean, he it, fuck with the new it's artists. Just his name alone bring out. You know what I'm saying? It's just ridiculous. I mean, he has some whole other shit going on. But as far as performances, I don't know. A lot of motherfuckers got that nigga. He gonna need to stop that shit. <laughs> <laughs>